I think if we were out here racing the last two years, I think we would have had something to say about that. Francis Jr. of Florida wins for the Breathless Racing Team. Seven for Ernie Francis Jr. Yeah, there's a lot of fans that are happy to see me back here. Maybe not so much drivers, you know. I'm racing in, uh, in TA and SVRA. I'm sure they're not happy about me being back out there. You know, they thought they got rid of me last time. But, you know, here we are again, so. Coming around the paddock again, it's a lot of fun. Seeing a lot of old faces, a lot of friends that I've known over the years. So I really enjoy coming back here. Uh, feels like home. You know, I, it felt a little rusty getting back in the car for the first time, but uh, it clicked pretty good after the first session. So, you know, it's happy to be back around here. I still follow all the Trans Am socials, so I see what's happening up there all the race weekends. Uh, you know, I see Chris Dyson out there racking up the championships, getting awfully close to uh, my amount of co consecutive ch championships and race wins in the series. So, uh, you know, hopefully I can come in here and at least hold them off for one more race right now. Oh, fantastic stuff. As into the lead of the race goes Chris Dyson. Dyson's gonna do it, and he takes the checkered flag and wins yet again. At some point, the uh, torch had to be passed on. You know, I moved out of the series, so uh, of course somebody has to pick it up from there. And uh, Chris does an excellent job. Their team is amazing. They put out good cars, and uh, you know, he, he does a solid job on the track as well. Um, you know. I think if we were out here racing the last two years, I think we would have had something to say about that. But, uh, you know, he's been doing a great job, and I th I'm looking forward to racing with him this weekend. I think uh, a lot of the TA2 guys are pretty quick. Uh, Connor Zilich and TA2 has definitely been impressive, watching him come up through the ranks over the past uh, past year or two. Um, you know, just won the race today in the TA2 class, so definitely impressive watching him come up. Uh, a lot of the TA guys, it's nice seeing the field grow a little bit. I think they're up to uh, over 10 cars this weekend in TA, so it's pretty cool to see that. Good start, though, by Ernie Francis Jr. Ernie Francis Jr. wins in Formula Regional! Yeah, you know, I spent the last two years racing uh, Indy Next, you know, making my uh, my journey in open wheel racing. Had a lot of fun doing that. Uh, spent two years uh, in that series, uh, racked up a podium, a uh, few good finishes. Just had a lot of a lot of fun. The whole program that I was in the last two years with Indy Next was uh, racing for Roger Penske's Race for Equality and Change in the IndyCar series. So you know, there was a lot of pressure on me in that in that program, and then still carrying over to where I am now uh, does that as well. You know, being a younger driver coming up from a diverse background. A lot of kids look up to me and, and, and see me racing out here and they want to follow my footsteps. So, uh, you know, I think uh, it's great and I'm, I'm happy to be, uh, you know, leading the, uh, leading the pack on that. Yeah, you know, right now just uh, doing some sports car racing, going to be doing this weekend here. And then uh, I'm running the Lamborghini Super Trofeo Series in IMSA this year. So going to be doing the full season in that in the pro class. Uh, going to be pretty fun racing sports cars again. Try to get into the uh, IMSA driver market and see where I can go from there. my first time driving it in the uh, practice session earlier today. I didn't get to run it in the test sessions yesterday, so just had to come to grips with it pretty quick. But uh, put a lap that was good enough for P4, uh, just about a second out of the guy that's uh, fastest. And uh, you know we're on some pretty old tires there, so I think we'll be pretty good once we put some stickers on for qualifying. I think uh, we haven't shown everything we got, so I think uh, once we get out there in qualifying, we'll show the field uh, what we have going on with us. So. Ernie Francis Jr. in the Challenger, his first ever chance of racing this car. 
on board with... Oh, oh, no! Dyson was getting aggressive off the inside, but a little too aggressive, and he's taken Ernie Francis out in that beautiful challenger. Francis Jr. has gone from the back to lead the race now. Coming out of the last corner. And we'll see the chequered flag for the umpteenth time here at Sebring. And win in SBRA as he has done so many times.